Now we're going to recover liquid refrigerant onto an evacuated tank. We're not using a recovery machine. We're going to just use a recovery tank and a scale. Of course, this recovery tank, it has to be in a vacuum. We need to pull down to 500 microns so that the tank can draw the refrigerant into it. We see that we need to run a hose from the king valve from the liquid line on over to the tank where it says liquid. Once we have done this, we front seat the king valve, meaning we move it all the way to the front. We open the valve on the tank and we start removing the refrigerant from the system. We start removing the liquid refrigerant from the system and it's going to be pulled into the recovery cylinder. By doing this, we remove most of the liquid that's in the system, and then we can start a vapor recovery. We can actually recover the entire refrigerant, the, re the entire charge of the system by this method, but we would just need several recovery cylinders. Every time our recovery cylinder equalizes the pressure with the system, we have to isolate it and put a new recovery cylinder in, in place. Now we can recover the entire system without a recovery machine. But in this example, I'm trying to show you how to recover the liquid into the tank without the use of a recovery machine.